Good morning. I'm Ward Schrader. I'm co-host of Bargain Mansions with my daughter Tamara Day, um, showing on Monday nights at 8 o'clock on HGTV. And this is a Working with Ward series, and I'm going to show you today how easy it is to repair sheetrock. And I've got a very typical crack in my home that I'm going to fix that's caused by the replacement of this door last year. Uh, the trim was put up, um, not substantial, the, the, the trim is not as substantial as I'd like it to be, so I'm going to improve it as well. But today, I just want to show you how really easy it is to fix these typical cracks that occur around doors and windows and corners of your house. So I've got one that's just split right across there. It's uh, kind of rough. So this is actually a wood rasp, but I'm going to use it to knock down the surface and get it a little bit smooth before I start applying some mud. And then I'm going to show you all the other tools that we're going to use on this project. Really simple, really inexpensive can certainly modernize and, and improve your home. All right, these are the tools I'm gonna to use. Really inexpensive. I, this is a, a sanding pad. Uh, it holds the sanding uh, paper and gives you a nice smooth surface so you can, you, it'll be nicely finished when you're done. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, this wood rasp uh, because where the sheetrock broke, one piece is sticking out a little bit further than the other. I want to get it smoother. Uh, these are knives, putty knives. Again, five, six dollars a piece. Uh, you do probably need at least one of those. Probably the smaller one if, if I had a choice of only one. And then uh, spackle material, which is what you use to repair a crack. And they have fast drying and, and normal drying. Today I'm using fast dry because I want to paint this and show you what it is when I'm done, what it looks like and how easy it really is. This is, if you have a big gap, uh, this is a fabric that's adhesive and you cut off the piece that fits the gap, lay it over it, uh, and then start putting mud on it and then lightly sand it. So that's all the tools. Um, don't really need anything else to get this job done. It's really inexpensive and fast. Okay, spackle, that's easy enough. And that's literally all I've done. You've seen everything that I've done on the, on the screen. The mud, just like that, it's just mud. It's called mud. Um, So you don't want to put on too much. You actually want to put it on as thin as you can. It reduces the amount of sanding you have to do. And it, it really doesn't, the, the mud doesn't add any structural strength to the, to the wall at all. It just fills the cracks. So I want this to be as smooth as I can get it when I'm done with it. So that uh, when I sand it, it's very little sanding and then it's paintable. So the only thing I'm going to use the bigger knife for is to give a smoother joint all the way across. So I'm going to put a little mud on my big knife, spread it out, and yes, you drop stuff on the floor, you make a mess, but it's easy to clean up. So that's as easy as it is. Uh, there's a little dry time involved here. It'll probably take 30 minutes, as thin as this is, to get it dry. And then I'm going to come back and sand it with a fine grit sandpaper, about 150, 180. 
get it smooth, and then it's ready to paint. So I've let this dry completely. I'm going to sand it down, see if I need a second coat. Don't know for sure if I'm going to or not. Looks pretty smooth, but I'll know here in just a second. No, nope, I think that's good. I got lucky again. Okay, so I think it looks good. It's a small patch, but it's really a great example of how easy this is. I think I'm ready to paint. Let's see what it looks like with a little paint on it. Spread it out a little further, the paint, so that it kind of blends in the old with the new, just in case the old has faded a little bit. But that really looks pretty darn good. When that dries, it's going to look great. So thank you for watching this uh, another episode of Working with Ward. I hope I've helped you. I hope you uh, will be able to improve your home a little bit with uh, very little investment. Thank you. Mm -hmm.